as Haley said, making a difference in the life of a child is what's about and all these outstanding young women have definitely, definitely done that. We have restarted and reinvigorated the Miss America Foundation. And as we've been on this journey and as the leadership has, has changed and been invigorated, we find different ways of, of raising outstanding funds to reward our incredible contestants. <laughs> Tammy and Dad, one of our Miss America board members and one of my dear friends, has been named the development president of the Miss America Foundation. And board member Regina Hopper is her right hand pal. And I would like to bring them both up now introduce you to our five nominees for two $5,000 STEM scholarships, science, technology, engineering, and math, and to give you an idea of what we've been doing at the Miss America organization to enhance that part of our profile. Tammy, Regina. America Foundation. This program has been around a long time and has helped millions of young women recognize that uh, their educational goals and really succeed. As, as you travel around this week, you'll meet many folks who were not necessarily proud of Miss America but received scholarship funds. And that's one of the big points we're going to make today. It's not just the 53 contestants that are here in Atlantic City this week. There's over 13,000 uh, participants in the program uh, this year on the state, local level, and on the national level, and many of them are receiving scholarships, so it's not just what you see today. But we're very excited to be here to tell you about the America Foundation's first initiative, and it is on STEM. Now, many of you have heard of STEM. Who knows what STEM is? You guys know. <laughs> okay, who wants to call it out?
when he was driving the car, and she said, did you know that she was Miss Arkansas? And he said, oh, no, he said, oh, that's so great to be coming back to Atlanta City. And she, she was Miss Arkansas in 1957. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and the driver who about killed us at that point turned around to look at me and said, man, you look good. <laughs>
so inspired by Oliver Wendell Holmes, who was a physician as well as a poet. And one of the things that I really gathered from his readings were that we have an obligation to use the intellect that we were given to advance in the field of science and medicine so that we could act upon our compassion. And that's why I want to be a physician, so that I can use that intellect that we've been blessed with by God to make these advancements in science, technology, engineering, and math, so that we can do things to help heal others and so that we can find pharmaceutical <coughs> advancements that can um, provide hope for a young child at Children's Miracle Network. These are things that are ways for us to progress in, in our servitude and in, in our humanitarian efforts as well. Um, our engineers, the Corps of Engineers that helped protect the banks of Mississippi during the Great Flood of the Mississippi River in 2011, without these scientific advancements, those things wouldn't be possible. And so I'm so thankful to the Miss America Foundation, Sam, Regina, Tammy, Doreen, Ms. Sharon, for making this a priority. Without integrating STEM education at the very center of the educational enterprise, we will not be able to forge ahead as a country. This is essential to bringing up the middle class, for providing sustainable job growth, and for giving our kids a hope and a future so that they can act upon their compassion at some point. Thank you. Of those interactions. 
being able to, on a very individual basis, spread the gospel of the Miss America program. By being that role model and by being that person who defied the typical stereotype. So with this scholarship, I am just so blessed and so empowered to continue doing that. Um, if I'm proud of Miss America or whoever is proud of Miss America can continue that mission, I feel like my week here and my time in this program for the past seven years has really been substantiated. I am so grateful and so excited for where Miss America will be in the next 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years. I also want to mention that my time at Dropbox has let me realize this is not just a woman's issue. Even though STEM and promoting STEM for women is our core mission, that includes all young men and all the men in the workplace because this is something that really concerns all of us. There are too many problems in the world to exclude half the population in solving them. Um, being able to have more women drive creativity and innovation in that process will make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you. Thanks so much.